Hi, Miss Yo Day family. We are the Baileys. I am Eric. This is Gabe. This is Charlotte and my wife Molly. And to make a long that's mommy. Oh, that's mommy. I'm sorry. So to make a long story short, uh, we are solid. We're doing okay. We recognize the blessing that life for us has not been as disrupted as some. Right. Our kids were not enrolled in any kind of school that would have been called off. My job is considered essential services. We are part of the supply chain to keep groceries on the shelves. So that's a blessing, although I am splitting time now between working at home a few days a week and still going to the office with precautions, of course. And it sounds like many of us are discovering that working from home has its pros and cons. I think that's a fair summary. Um, but we are playing a lot of charades and going on a lot of adventures inside the house. So grateful for children with active imaginations. If I have one prayer concern, it would be that there is a human being inside of my wife right now, and we are eager to meet this new baby, eager to welcome new baby into our home, eager to hold and hug new baby. <laughs> uh, the due date is May 21st. Right now we're just taking it day by day, so far, so good, but that would be the area I would appreciate your prayers. Um, as far as a Bible verse I wanted to share, I have Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 18 through 21. You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children talking of them when you are sitting in your house, when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give them, as long as the heavens are above the earth. We are living in strange times, and if you are spending any time on social media or talking to people in any form, you're probably discovering among believers and non-believers alike that this presents a unique opportunity for us to choose where do we place our hope, our trust? What do you fear? What is your source of truth? So I am living in the hope that as for me and my house, we are making the right choices in that regard. <laughs> as for me and Gabe's house. But we... That's right. Not my house. That is so true. So we share in the sentiment of many that we greatly look forward to seeing everyone again, meeting together as a church family, but certainly blessed by these videos and whatever points of connection we can manage.